those <laughs> spheres when I showed you those ping pong balls, then they are closest packed. It's called a closest packed state. And so that means that the, all the ping pong balls, whatever conglomeration you have, can't be packed any closer. And so they fall into these natural patterns. And that's, that paper that I showed you is really like a sort of a sacred text of what is basic structure. Because you go, you connect the centers of them, so the triangle and then the square, and all of them fit together until there's 454 to get a big triangle that closes all of the other stuff that's in there. So there's basically 146 spheres that make the first limit, and so that's really what I'm here, but I won't go into all of that. Uh, so this is just to show you that there is a, uh, a system called a coupler. The tetrahedron you could think of as um, having one volume, that all the rest of the volumes will be relative to that. And then Fuller developed these quanta that are 24 divisions of that one volume so that uh, you can count the volumes of parts and such. So you can see that these are both at those same cubes, and they're half the, half the size of this big cube here. And so you can see that there's these tetrahedrons. Can you see the, the four-sided tetrahedron? There's two of them that are bonded together there. And so they make the cube. It's called a duotet. And then there's these that are the coupler, and I'll show you what a coupler looks like in just a second. And they have the same volume. So this is tetrahedrons that are divided up into one six. So this is another way in which, uh, you know, some kind of modular building system. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see my job as designing the modular building system. I give architects and engineers and anybody else who's interested the, it's sort of like a periodic table of forms and then they're the ones that will figure out you know what's the materials which would be the right ones to use so if you take these tetrahedrons off you see that there's this sort of star-like thing here and it, what it is is the midpoints so that the tetrahedrons connect the the corners and then this the couple what's called the coupler connects the midpoints of the faces of the square and so this is a coupler here it's a asymmetrical octahedron and so if I'm starting to get a little too technical or you know I, I lose you, just tell me and I'll move on. But here's sort of one volume, and this is actually the same volume. And with Fuller's quanta, you can prove them, but you just trust me right now. But they look so different. Yeah. And it's really hard to imagine that this is the same volume as that one. Mm -hmm. And then they mix together to form all sorts of things. But the cube is sort of like... This is just to show that inside the cube, there is a, you know, a lot of information going on. So here is the, the coupler at the same, Stand by. So this is at the half size with that two centimeter BB radius of the ping pong ball. This is three BB size and this is six BB. So this is six radiuses. The distance here is six radiuses. And so here is this at the 6 BB size. So this is one volume. 
So anytime you divide the edge of a system in half, it gets uh, eight times less volume. Or you multiply it times two, it has eight times the volume. So this is one eighth volume. This is one. This is one. That's one eighth volume. So then they have all of these ways that these these little guys that made the coupler can be put together and they make an octahedron. So there's just this incredible versatility to these forms. And so that's why I think that they would be very handy for a uh, modular building system. I mean, that's sort of the, the end all and the be all of my work is to come up with a modular building system. And, you know, you can imagine, you know, you would have, this is a unit and you would have windows here and the sun comes up here and it would strike there and then it have this all open down there so you could have this wonderful uh, indirect light. And each one of those units... It's each one of these four sections. There's four sections there, right? Each one of those is an A, B section. So there's always a handedness. There's one that's inside out of the other. Okay. So uh, two A B sections that are mirroring each other. So there's four of, four of them. Four of them. Oh. So there's. Let's see how many is in. Uh, Ninety. I don't know all of that right at the moment. But they fit into these triangular kind of units. And so then this makes the octahedron, the 3B octahedron. And that's what we're going to start. So here's with the, the quantum modules. And so I think there's 96 that are in this at this size. But this is half size for the, the first limit. But this is going to be the beginning of all of the things that we're going to be building. So I'll get these out of the... Oh, and then the rhombic dodecahedron that I showed you around the ping pong ball. This guy. Mm -hmm. He's right here. This is another size. This is at 2 BB. This is at 3 BB. Mm. And it's made of these half couplers, because you put two of these and that makes one coupler. Or you can put them around. And they start making this system so that you, what's really great about this system is you always know where you are in relation to the center as you go out in every direction. And you